So, children, we have uh, started, you know, we, we have already read about globalization. We have started this chapter uh, since a week and uh, we read about the meaning of globalization that it is the interlinking of countries through trade is called as globalization. And we know that this globalization started from 1991 uh, in our country that, you know, the arrival of MNCs we noticed from 1991 when the liberal policies were adopted by our Indian government. When, you know, at that time, our Indian government removed the trade barriers uh, and then uh, MNCs started reaching to our country. And we read this also that MNCs play a very important role. Okay, because and without MNCs, we can't say that the globalization process will go on. Right, MNCs, these are the multinational companies which have production units which are investing in their own country as well as in other countries also. Okay, so MNCs, um, then we read about the, uh, the spread of production, that how MNCs are spreading their production, that they are, uh, you know, uh, investing money here in, in India. Uh, then we read that they are uh, in collaboration, they are uh, working like Ford Motors, working uh, in collaboration with Mahindra and Mahindra we read. Okay, then another way of spreading production is that they uh, sometimes, you know, they take over the companies. And we read the example of which industry? Do you remember? Which American industry, uh, you know, per, per, uh, they purchase uh, the uh, Indian local company? Do you remember the name of the company? Yes, children? And Ford. Ford is an American company. We, if you remember, we, Mahindra. we read about the edible oil. We read this example where uh, we saw that the edible oil company from America, that is Cargill Foods, they started, they uh, took over the charge of uh, Parak Food. Okay, Parak Food, which was a very reputed company from India. So, this, these are the methods and sometimes another way is that they, uh, you know, provide, uh, they, they tell locals to produce uh, products for them. They, they place orders. That, that also we read with the picture. There is an example with picture that, uh, that in the picture you can see that women is, the women are making uh, football there. So small producers or local producers also, they are working for MNCs, right? So this we read and uh, now uh, we have understood even the, uh, the factors enabling globalization that we read technology and liberal policies of government. These all factors we have understood. Now we are at the end of the chapter in which we are going to study about the impact of globalization. So impact of globalization means the effect. So impact can be uh, positive as well as negative also. Both can be there. Okay, if the, if, you, if the question comes in the board exam and that this question usually come in board exams. Okay, but what you have to write if they are asking about the impact of globalization, you will write positive as well as a negative impact. Both are there. So first, we will uh, understand the positive impact. Okay, so positive impact, if you have opened your book, come to page 66. Page 66 here, you can see that um, the first impact, you know how we are going to study the positive impact? It is, the impact is positive to the consumers as well as to the producers. Now, how it is uh, advantageous to consumers? We have already read that, you know, consumers, they get a greater choice. They have greater choice, whether you buy an American brand, whether you buy uh, Germany, German brand or Indian brand, choice is yours. So greater choice is there for consumer. This is the first advantage. Second adv advantage, we can say that, uh, you know, improved quality products they are getting. Today, we are getting improved quality products. 
you know all there is a lot of competition between the producers okay just is just take example of a television okay so television companies are many companies are there those who are providing us television and a lot of competition is there between them that they wanted to improve their brand so that more and more consumers should purchase their brand only so competition is going on between the producers and it is benefiting consumers okay so we are getting improved quality every time you know that every month you get a new technology you get a new kind of mobile every time you know the uh, the improved features every every year it happens so we are getting a chance to get improved quality of products right then uh, we know that prices uh, lower prices of products are there you know when there is lot of demand so what the company will do company will sell their products at lower prices so this is also one of the benefit that consumers are getting right then higher standard of living we can see that today in especially in the urban areas those who are the consumers living in the urban areas they are benefited okay they are their standard of living is improving every time because the products are cheaper products are cheaper and they are able to buy it so that is why their standard of living is also increasing right so these were the advantages to the consumers can you see in the first paragraph all the the points which i discussed with you are mentioned here okay then uh, now how it is advantages to producers that is the next uh, positive point producers now producers are also benefited if we talk about our indian producers we know that most of the mncs are investing money here in in our country okay so lot of investment is seen this is a, a positive point right you, you, local companies don't have to uh, invest money but mncs are doing that so this is the first benefit then second we can say that uh, most of these smaller producers smaller you know um, local producers are benefited today how because they, they they are also flourishing they are also prospering they are becoming prosperous day by day small producers because these small producers are providing uh, the uh, raw material or the uh, components to industries just take example take example of um, ford motors only we will take example of ford motors now ford motors they have established their Uh, manufacturing unit in delhi suppose right and uh, now they 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 want all the raw material all the components from uh, local people those who are in delhi they will provide they will supply uh, like the stepney or the screws and uh, you know the seats various kind of things you know need, need for making ford motor so the components will be supplied by local producers so just imagine that they are you know supplying their things to ford motors and even they are growing even the local producer are also improving right so this is the uh, second benefit to the producers then come to page 67 uh, here we know that there is top indian companies have been able to benefit from the increased competition competition is grow, going on these days so even our companies indian top indian companies are also learning and they are making themselves more competitive they are you know they keep taking a stand that in the international markets even their products should be um, they should be sold so this way uh, they are also improving and in collaboration when companies are working with mncs we know that they are benefited i request everyone to keep their videos on hurry up okay then uh, after that we know that many indian uh, top companies uh, have become mncs they are you know they were called as a national companies or they were called as a local companies but now even they have uh, grabbed that position mnc they are called as multinational companies even they are not you know they are also acting as multinational companies they are not only in investing money in india but in other countries also uh, like take example of tatas take example of maruti 
you know these are the automobile industries and they have their uh, manufacturing units not only in india but abroad in abroad also so they have become multinational companies more examples are given here you can underline more examples are here uh, page number 67 second paragraph that tata motors infosys very famous randaxi which produces medicines uh, asian paints you know about the paints then sundaram fasteners nuts and bolts so these are the companies which have become mlcs today once there there was a time that they were called as only the local indian companies but they are multinational companies they are they have established their units not only in india but in abroad also then the other uh, benefit the last one is that that even most of the is you know uh, industries companies which are providing services they are also growing right they are also growing now which companies are providing what kind of services are they providing many industries you know manufacturing industries they need support like you can give example of data entry you can mark it data entry uh, is there or uh, you know sometimes they need that somebody will note down their accounts so they need some services so they ask the companies to provide these services to them okay so this kind of benefits that our producers are getting in our uh, country okay so globalization this one is clear to you children impact of globalization we have discussed is it clear 